the Honorable Kaluma asked about uh, the relations between uh, Haiti and, and the U.S. And, and made the comments he made and, and asked why the U.S. was the sponsor of the resolution that, that was adopted. But from where we sit, you know, we, we don't control the U.N. Uh, procedures. And for us, what mattered, because it was a condition when the request was made, we put a condition that we cannot allow deployment as Kenya unless it has legal backing of the United Nations Security Council. So we, we could not control who brings the resolution, but we were careful to get approval. Members and the country may want to know that out of the 15, uh, members of the national uh, UN Security Council, none of them opposed. There were only two members that abstained, Russia and China. And even the abstentions were not opposed to the deployment or the leadership of Kenya in the mission. They just required, their, their delegations were requiring more details, which have since been provided. and. Members may know, may want to know, that as we speak, even the two members of the uh, UN National uh, UN uh, Security Council that abstained from taking the vote are supporting the mission in terms of resources uh, and and so forth. Um, the other question was on which countries. The process is ongoing, as I said, it's still at the preliminary stage, but the countries that have offered to provide troops include Burundi, Senegal, Mauritius, Chad, Paraguay, Cuba, and Grenada, as we speak. But the diplomatic uh, engagements are ongoing. But from that corner, the, the, and Chile, sorry, I forgot, Chile from, from CARICOM countries. In fact, the entire membership of the regional uh, intergovernmental organization to which Haiti belongs is called CARICOM. The entire membership of CARICOM countries is in support of this mission, the neighbors of Haiti. But in terms of countries which have offered to give troops, Chile, Paraguay, Cuba, and Grenada have offered uh, to provide troops to give it a regional uh, support. But the entire... Uh, those are sentiments. Uh, you know, t this is a is a is 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 is, is a deployment, and, and therefore, um, the troops as used in this. And I know, I suspect why the Honourable Karuma is asking that question, is because of the answer I'm about to give on the other question he asked. Uh, let me say that uh, they will give that number of officers. Chile, Paraguay, Grenada, Cuba have already offered to provide officers for the de for deployment. The other question was on the use of uh, the word forces in uh, Article 240, Paragraph 8, which I think is semantic, um, because um, we deliberately avoided using the word force just for sentimental reasons as a country, because of the experience Kenyans had, and they decided the, Ken the Kenya police force would be called Kenya Police Service, and the reasons were given um, uh, for all intents and purposes. The organs of national security, uh, once um, uh, if I look at the organs, the deployment of organs of national security, be they KDF, NPS, or NIS. Because even for the NIS, which is the most um, uh, reclusive of the organs of uh, national security, it may be necessary for national security strategic interests to do external deployment because of external and internal intelligence needs of the country. So our interpretation is that the word forces there 
is not limited to the Kenyan Defence Forces. If that was the intention, the drafters of Article 240 would have said so. Number two, if it was not the intention, the definitional provisions of either that article or Article 260, which provides for the definitions of ambiguous terms, would have provided for the meaning of the word forces. But that is tautology. It's neither here nor there. Uh, the other question was about um, a, a court, uh, whether there is a court order. Yes, there is a court order. The court order, uh, in our view, does not address itself to the issue of deployment. Neither has it, uh, or, or rather, the, the only issue that it uh, addresses itself to is the issue of deployment that before deployment is done, the matter in court should be heard and determined. That's it. It has not said nobody should uh, talk about it. It has not said we should not prepare for it. It has not said we should not train. It has not said we should not uh, request parliament to consider and approve. It has just said before the deployment, uh, the matter will, will, will have uh, taken shape or something like that. <coughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Omondi, our president of Comedy Africa. Yo, yo, this is Kushman, Pedi wa Magengi. Mambo vipi watu wangu wa Nairobi na Kenya mzima. Subscribe. Kwa stories za nini? 254. Across all social media platforms. Hapana kuchanganya. Na uwe ndo Dori, subscribe right now. Finya sahi. Sa, wewe finya.